Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus. Greetings in the name of our Lord. Those are his names, Pastor Ephraim Nyonyintono. This time is very difficult for one to speak. But it's also a blessing to say something. On the behalf of UCC Kasubi, and on the behalf of our senior leader, Dr. Serumaga Ruwama, and on the behalf of the National Prayer Altar, I want to deliver our condolence to World Trumpet Mission and to the family of Dr. John. And most especially to our father, Dr. John Mulinde. For sure, this season that we are going through is not easy. It has so many challenges. There are so many of our beloved that are living in this kind. During this period of COVID-19, we have lost so many people. The ones that we knew that they have gone to be with the Lord are few, but so many that went when we did not even know. But let me just mention these two things. First, the Lord God speaks in so many different ways. But according to what is going on, in our country and in other nations, what is going on? There is a voice of a symbol. It would be good and necessary it is so important for us as leaders to teach the church to prepare for eternity. It is a high time for us to teach the church and prepare the church for eternity and speak to them to remove the fear of death in their lives, but prepare for that internal life. Secondly, unto the youth who are upcoming, the departure of Gideon, let it be a voice and a message unto you. Feel that whatever that you are to do today, do it like that is your last day. Because let's give you an example. In your words, in your faith, in your speech, that whatever that you do, that you may become a testimony unto those who listen to you and to those that hear you. For Gideon, as people, we feel we have lost. But the departure of Gideon is a message unto all the young people and to May God bless you. Hallelujah.